Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the it's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday the 3rd of July. I'm James Spann getting set to cruise into a holiday weekend. Weather looking fairly typical for the middle of summer. Here we go. Upper air look this morning. As expected this time of the year, the main jet stream, the westerly winds aloft well to the north, ridging centered to the west, and dry air moved in from the northeast. I say dry air, drier air. And that meant fewer showers yesterday, and probably any showers today will be fairly isolated. Radar very quiet early this morning. That was the radar composite at 452. It's a muggy morning. Most locations in the 70s, highs up in the low and mid-90s today. Very hot. But then again, this is July in Alabama, which is what you expect. There's the watch warning map, really quiet across the country, just a little excessive or a heat advisory, I should say, for parts of northeastern Texas around the Arklatex. Severe storms possible today, way up north and across parts of the plains in the northeast. Tomorrow, again, a marginal risk over the high plains. And Sunday, pretty much the same deal. We're solidly in the green. That means scattered storms around, but no organized severe weather expected. Rain for the next seven days. The west is dry. The southeast relatively wet. We do expect to see an increase in shower and thunderstorm activity next week. Rain amounts on an average basis between one and two inches between now and Friday morning of next week. And the tropics remain awfully quiet. So model fans, here we go. The GFS. This is the 06C run, 4 o'clock today. Upper high to the west. We have a ridge over the middle of the country and Again, for us, uh, partly sunny, very hot today. I think we'll see low and mid-90s. And a little pop-up storm, a possibility later today, but most places stay dry. Tomorrow, very standard summer weather for the 4th of July. Partially sunny, hot, humid. Scattered afternoon and evening storms. Chance of any one spot getting wet in the 30% bracket. Highs in the low 90s. Sunday, pretty much the same thing. Maybe a little increase in the number of storms. Highs 87 to 90. And then moisture clearly deeper next week. Uh, Monday, occasionally cloudy with storms becoming more numerous. Highs drop back in the low and mid 80s. Same thing Tuesday, maybe numerous showers and storms. And Wednesday, so first half of next week looking relatively wet with highs dropping back in the 80s. And then Thursday, evidence showers thinning out. And a week from today, Friday the 10th, 594 heat bubble over the southern plains. We're on the edge of that. And again, that looks relatively quiet with only isolated showers. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday, July 13th, 594 heat to the north. And again, classic summer weather. Partly sunny, hot, steamy, maybe a storm in spots. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 2 and 3 inches for the next 15 days. And you can see the uh, heat levels come down next week. Now, mid-90s possible today. The uh, NBM's got 94 for Birmingham. And then dropping back in the 80s for the first half of next week. And the CPC outlook, this is for July 10th through the 16th. Showing temperatures here could be a bit above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. We are on a holiday schedule, so one video per day. My next video here will be Monday morning by 7 o'clock. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.